Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over the new sales and packs in the Pearl store this week to see which packs are worth it to get. This video will mostly be for people who want to know what the value of the different packs in RNG boxes are, and newer players who want to know what it's worth it to buy in the Pearl store. With Heidel Ball being in 3 days, there are a bunch of new sales and new packs hitting the Pearl store. The headline items are of course going to be the 1 plus 1 Pearl packs, the new outfit Memento Mori, and the three random boxes. We'll first go over the headline items and then go over every other new item and pack on sale this week. The first big sale this week is of course the 1 plus 1 pearl packs. These limited packs give double the number of pearls for your real world money. These packs have historically been the most amount of pearls that you can get for money which is 2 times. These used to be pretty rare, but nowadays it is almost expected to come out every big event. With that being said though, if you need pearls, these packs are going to be the best pearls for your money as for now. PA has released 4 different packs that you can buy one of each, including a 1000 acoin pack, a 3000 acoin pack, a 4000 acoin pack, and an 8000 acoin pack. Generally, because of the bonus pearls you get from buying bigger pearl boxes, the higher acoin packs are going to give you the most pearls. However, since PA made the 8000 acoin box give 2 times 4000 pearl packs, there is no extra value from buying the 8000 acoin 1 plus 1 pack compared to the 4000 acoin 1 plus 1 pack. That being said though, these are great value if you are already buying pearls that you can get pearls for basically half off, which is much better than buying them at full price. Even if you aren't going to spend pearls this week, you can still take advantage of this deal and save pearls for later, as pearls don't expire. Do keep in mind though, you are still spending real money on a game, so only spend money that you can afford. Moving on from the 1 plus 1 pearl packs, there's also a new outfit released this week called the Memento Mori. This is a basic pearl outfit set only for non-shy female classes that cost 2200 pearls, which means that it only comes with a helmet, armor, gloves, and shoe skins. Since it is a new outfit released this week, there is no sale for the basic outfit, it just costs a full price of 2200 pearls. This is a pretty interesting new outfit, and you are able to hide the visor through in-game settings if you don't like that look. The outfit is more towards the edgy nun vibe, but I think it can look pretty good. If you like this outfit, feel free to pick it up, but there's no sale so there's no rush to pick it up. This outfit is going to remain in the Pearl Store forever. There is also a triple Memento Mori pack that is on sale for 15% off. If for some reason you have 3 characters that you use and want this outfit on, you can get all 3 outfits with a small little sale. If you fall in this category, a 15% off discount isn't bad for a new outfit. Overall, I do kind of like this outfit and I might pick it up, but it's not going to be for everyone as it does have a certain aesthetic. Keep in mind though, you can re-dye the outfit so it doesn't have to be all black. Either way though, since it is completely cosmetic, if you like the look of it, then you can go pick it up. Moving on from the new outfit, we're going to look at all three different RNG boxes that are on sale this week. With all these RNG boxes, we do have a separate video that goes more in-depth on all these different boxes, including the Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune, the Gleaming Adventure Box, and the Intriguing Adventure Box. With that being said though, we are still going to quickly go over each box with the new sale that they are on. The Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune is sold by itself in a pack of 6 with 22 bonus memory fragments. It is on a 22% off discount going from 5,400 pearls to 4,212 pearls. On the main website, it shows 6,400 pearls, but this is probably just a simple error since Azure Dragon Pouches are 900 pearls each, and if the pack went from 6,400 pearls to 4,212 pearls, it would be more than 22% off. In-game, it shows 5,400 pearls instead of 6,400 pearls. Historically, in my Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune videos, we have calculated that each Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune has an average value of around 1,576 pearls, which from 900 pearls has a discount equivalence of about 43% off. But since this pack contains 6 of them, we have to do a new calculation. Since each pouch is worth 1,576 pearls on average, we get 6 of them so it has a total value of 9,456 pearls. Because the pack is being sold for 4,212 pearls, it has a discount equivalence of around 55.46% off. Again, this is basically the same as if you got every item in this pouch at 55.46% off. 
Again, this is based on the average amount of pearls that you will get from each pouch. Since it is a completely RNG item, you can get a lot more or a lot less. So buying these packs are going to be completely based on your tolerance for risk. However, if you like RNG and you want most of the items in this pouch, a 55.46% average discount isn't bad for RNG boxes. This pack also does come with a bonus of 22 memory fragments, which is not included in my calculated value since it is just silver. The event sale is a bit low compared to other big event sales, which usually go from around 70 to 80% off. But because they are releasing a 1 plus 1 pearl pack this week, I think they made these pack a little bit less value than usual since people will have more pearls than average. With that being said though, let's move on to the gleaming and intriguing boxes. The gleaming and intriguing adventure boxes are going to be similar just with no typo on the main website. The cost for intriguing adventure boxes is usually 180 pearls and gleaming adventure boxes are usually 340 pearls. Because they are coming at 6 each, the pack would usually cost 3,120 pearls, but is 22% off being sold as 2,433 pearls. Since we calculated the average value of pearls you would get in my Gleaming Adventure Box and Intriguing Adventure Box video, we can see that on average for the Intriguing Adventure Box, you are getting 287 pearls, which considering the base box cost of 180 pearls is a discount equivalence of 37%. With the Gleaming Adventure Box, you are getting an average of about 603 pearls per box, which considering the base box cost is 340 pearls, it has a discount equivalence of 44%. Now this pack reduces each base box cost by 22% and it includes 6 per pack. Because of this, the average value you get when you open 6 of each box is about 5,341 pearls, and the cost for the entire pack is still 2,433 pearls. This makes this bundle have a discount equivalence of around 54.44% on average. Again, same thing with the Azure Dragon pouches, it is a little less than average for a big event sale, but with the 1 plus 1 packs being sold this week, it is pretty obvious why they are holding back. Comparing the two RNG boxes packs, the Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune is going to have a higher discount equivalence on average, and it does come with a bonus of 22 memory fragments, which is kind of nice. With that being said though, because this is just on average and both these packs contain super RNG items, the discount equivalence difference is only 1%, so if you are deciding between these two packs, just get the RNG box that gives the items that you want. For example, if you want the items that the Azure Dragon Pouch of Fortune gives, then choose that, but if you prefer the intriguing and gleaming pack items, then choose those. Do remember that these are RNG items, so it is always going to be more likely to get the lower value items. Again, in my videos dedicated to these boxes, I go more in depth on the different rates and items that you can get, so if you're more interested in that, go look at those specific videos. This video just goes over the average amount of pearls and the specific discounted packs that you can buy in the pearl shop this week. Moving on from the RNG boxes, there is a new item being released onto the pearl store this week called the Pet Skill Change Coupons. These cost 250 pearls each and lets you reroll the basic pet skills like the Karma Recovery, the Plus One Luck, and the 5% Life Skill Experience skills. These don't let you change the talent or special skills on the pet, like the Reduced Auto Fishing Time or Weight Increase if you have a Polar Bear. These are only for the random skills that you get for leveling up. This is a pretty cool mechanic and lets you reroll pet skills one at a time instead of the entire pet. You also get to choose a pet skill that you want and have an increased chance of getting that skill, around 51%. Since this is a new item, there is no sale, but if you find it useful and want to reroll your pet skills, you can pick it up. There's also a pack that gives you 11 for the price of 10, but this is also a permanent pack and not a limited sale. If you want to learn more on the best way to roll a tier 4 pet free to play, then you can watch the video that I made on that. Overall though, the pet change coupons does add an interesting new dynamic when choosing your own skills for the pets that you want. Moving on, we're going to get into the rest of the Hydel deals or high deals as it says on the main website. There are some pretty okay packs, but we're going to talk a little bit more on my thoughts in the conclusion of this video. We already went over the RNG packs earlier, so we won't go over them again. With all of these packs, PA does not value the bonus items in its packs or discounts, so keep that in mind. PA also values Krons at 3.42 pearls each, instead of 3.424 pearls. 
we will value the bonus items and crons at 3.424 pearls in the upcoming packs. The first pack is just simply a premium outfit box and cron stones with a bonus of an 80 stack and 5 loot scrolls. Without including the bonus items, it is exactly as it says on the website, a 5,110 pearl worth pack that is on a 50% discount for 2,555 pearls. If you include the bonus items, I value the pack at around 5,910 pearl value, which gives this pack a 56.77% discount equivalence, being sold for 2,555 pearls. Not too big of a difference, but still it's nice having the bonus items. Again, this pack isn't that special, only being premium outfits and crons at a 56% discount. Next is again a simple pack that has 2 outfits and 3,000 crons. Without the bonus items, it is a 17,060 pearl value being sold at a discount of 50% off for 8,530 pearls. With the bonus items, if you value a 100 stack at around 1,100 pearls, Event Origins of Dark Hunger at 566 pearls, and item collection scrolls at 50 pearls each, the total value is about 20,370 pearls. So being sold at 8,530 pearls, it has a discount equivalence of around 58.12% off. This is not a bad pack if you really want crons or silver, but there's nothing really special about this pack only being sold for around 50-60% to off. The next pack is just very simple as it has no bonus items, it is simply 10 premium outfits being sold for 20,400 pearls. Since usually it would be 34,000 pearls, it has a discount of 40% off. This is a pure whale only pack for people who usually buy crons or silver for pearls. For most new players, this wouldn't really be practical, this is only for people who spend a lot on the game. For higher spending players, a 40% off discount isn't even that great just for premium outfits, as you would usually expect most deals to be at least 50% off or higher. But if you are really desperate for crons or silver, then feel free to pick up this pack. The next pack is a choose your own pack that contains artisans, crons, and premium outfits. If you are looking for pure value, the crons is going to be the best since it is 2000 crons instead of 2 premium outfits. The premium outfits give you 993 crons, which would total 1986 crons with 2 premium outfit boxes which is less than 2000 crons. The premium outfit box is still going to be the second best value. Artisan's Memories is the worst value since they are about 6,700 pearls for 335 artisans, and that is less than the two premium outfit boxes which would be 6,800 pearls. With that being said, this pack isn't going to be the best, only being around 40% off. Artisans, crons, and outfits are usually sold for at least 50% off and usually during big events even more. This pack isn't bad, but it's honestly not amazing. Next for the high dell deals, there is a wizard goss fee being sold 3 for the price of 2 or basically 33% off. This isn't bad for wizard goss fees, but they usually do go on sale for at least 50% off or more during events. If you are really pushing a pet, this can be okay, but honestly this deal isn't as good as usual so no rush in picking this up if you are able to wait. Again, with all these high dell deals, there is a trend that they're not going to be the best and I will discuss this later in my conclusion. However, we are going to move on to the non Hydel ball sales that are all going to end in 2 weeks on July 3rd, instead of the 3 week deals that end on July 10th. The first pack is the Adventurous Pals which is just a set of pets being sold at 25% off. I would personally consider these pets to be 54% off though, since they are all rare tier pets and rare tier pets are generally 1800 pearls. If you like any of the pets that are on sale, either cosmetically or based on the buffs that they give, feel free to pick them up. The highlighted pets are going to be the Boz and Jack that gives increased big ship weight. If you are doing bartering, this is pretty good. The Puaji Llama increases some gathering items. If you do gathering, that is a pretty good pet. Finally, the Malomers and Drifty Gosby that have increased item pickup range can help when grinding. Either way, it's not a huge sale but still pretty good since they are rare tier pets. The next pack is basically the ability to craft an Azir Dragon with the stats that you want. This pet is a rare tier pet so it is around a 38.89% discount equivalence as it is an 1800 pearl value being sold for 1100 pearls. The main gimmick for this pet is the look of the pet, plus you can choose what talent and special skill that you want. You can of course get similar pets that have talent and special skills innately, but if you like the look of the dragon you can pick up this pack. 
there is nothing unique about this pet other than its looks, but that can be a pretty big factor. Either way, it is 40% off, which is okay for a choose your own rare pet. Next up is the basic categories on sale, the horse gear being 30% off and the pet being 25% off. I would say generally this isn't worth I would say generally this isn't going to be worth it since horse gear and pets are usually on sale for 50% or more on big sales. This is a basic weekly sale so there's no rush to pick these up. Pets and horse gear are often the first items to go on sale during big events so there's nothing really that special about this sale. Finally is the adventure style which is the large scale release of a lot of the outfit of the day winners. They don't have a custom picture or dies for this release so it's really just going to be based on whether you like the certain outfits that a player has curated. These outfit packs contain pieces from different packs so it can be more convenient than buying multiple outfit sets. If you include the value pack these packs are going to be around 26 to 27 percent off which is not a bad deal. Again, this is only really if you like the look of the custom outfits. In conclusion, I will say that these Heidel Ball packs are a little bit worse than usual only being around 50% off. As I mentioned in the RNG boxes section, I honestly think it's because they are selling 1 plus 1 pearl packs this week that they are holding back on a lot of the sales. Most big event sales usually go for 70 to 80% off, which considering this week is Heidel Ball, it is surprising that the best deals are around 50% off. If we look historically at the Calpheum Ball that happened in 2023, a lot of the sales are 75-80% to off. I would say that it is completely fine to skip any of the packs that we have on sale this week, and you can always wait until next week to see if they have any post Heidel Ball sales. I do have a sneaking suspicion that with the Pearl inflation from the 1 plus 1 packs being basically normal, a lot of the future sales are going to start lacking in value, hovering around 50% off rather than the 70-80% to off that we are accustomed to get. I may make a video in the future discussing this, but we are going to see how PA approaches the Pearl Store in the future. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope to see you all next time.